fronted by Porsche. It is Serena Williams and Jennifer Capriati in the second of two semi-final matches today. Venus Williams, a number two seed, out to Kim Clijsters with an injury. And now we have the WTA trainer talking to Jennifer. That's Lisa Heller. We saw her play a key role in the first semi-final, and Jennifer called her out after the second set. It looks like uh, usually those little packets contain Sorry. a couple of pills as Georgina Clark does a nice little block job of our camera. Come on, Georgina, cooperate with us a bit. Maybe for the pain. And a little instant relief. Well, it's never too instant. Usually needs about 20 minutes. So what do you think? Coming up the third set, what's at stake here is a place in the championship. And in the championship, it's not Venus. It's Kim Clasters. The only thing I can think of that really stands out, it's been a year and a half since Capriati has beaten Serena, and that's the overriding energy force going into this third set. The mental edge definitely goes to Serena. She's beaten Jennifer four times this year. But I think Jennifer's actually played better in this match than Serena has. Fifteen love. And isn't that the sign of a true champion when you can actually hang in a match against a quality opponent like Capriati when you're not playing at your best and still hang around with a chance to win? Over double the unforced errors. Serena Williams with 32, Capriati with 14. And remember, they play similar high risk games. <laughs> 12 mile an hour ace. important for Capriati to keep the pressure on Williams' serve. Williams the number one player in the world. Classic AFC rivalry continues tonight at 8.30 on ESPN. Sunday night football when Ricky Williams and the Dolphins take on Chad Pennington and the New York Jets. Quarterback Pennington and running back Curtis Martin try to lead the Jets back into contention in the AFC East. It all starts with NFL primetime. Presented by Miller Lite at 7.30. Well, for Miami Dolphins, they had a great start to the year. Jay Feeler gets hurt. It's downhill all of a sudden. Don't you quit talking about the Dolphins. I get sick and tired of it. They were on their way to the Super Bowl. And whose team won the Super Bowl I know, most recently? I know, I know. Whatever. Whatever, exactly. Whatever. Pretty big point here, Love 15. so far behind the court. Up till then, she played a perfect rally. The momentum shifts in a match that is so closely contended. So interesting. 
was four times the winners for Williams. But she's also up in one for Zoe's department. Goes for more. You can notice in the last few points, it looks like she's taking a little bit off the ball, being a little bit more patient. Waving this. And now a ball's gotten loose. 30 all. Great job pulling away from that racket pound. She went into that full force and then just pulled back. Second serve. Watch Serena jump on it. Deuce. Deep serve just when she needed it. Be interesting to see what happens. Serena Williams, for the first time in this semifinal, has a lead. She was down three love at the very beginning and has been looking at the wrong side of this match ever since. That's long. And finish, Capriano. Since 1990, these are the players with the best record in a year. Hingis had an amazing year in 97. The French, the only major she did not win. Steffi Groff in 1990, just before Celis started to take over things. You can see Celis's year in 92, and then Serena this year. By the way, that last Capriati service winner was 111 miles an hour. That's about six or seven MPHs faster than her usual. Supposed to be getting tougher to dominate women's tennis because there are deeper fields. That's why it's an extraordinary number that you just showed on Serena Williams. Three Grand Slam titles. The French Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. such a big swing at a return. You're not always going to make them. Remember a few service games ago when Capriati was just ripping forehand returns. Not easy to maintain that. A couple times Serena's gone to that drop shot. Jennifer's ran it down. But pushed it long each time. Good hustle up to the ball. She's so close at the net. And when you go over the high part of the net, you've got to have that racket face a little bit open. She's running so quickly. Point. 
so pretty to watch. Jennifer running out wide to hit her forehand. Gets that extra whip on the racket head. Yeah, look at her follow through. She does not come across her head at all. She goes over her right ear. so impressive to see. If she gets a little angry, it doesn't affect that grit. Break point. but I don't know what she could have done differently in that rally. Jeez. Serena Williams played a brilliant pressure break point. Another you talk, big swing. You talked about a warrior just a minute ago. There comes a time in a match when the two warriors like these two that face each other, one and three in the world, have nowhere to go but to win. Neither one of these is going to give it away. Neither one will blink. We're at that moment. Same point. Beautifully, Capriati. Great lunging forehand volley. against Capriati, find those lines. Game point. Serena to hit that extra ball. It's not rebound ace either. has as we get towards the end of this semi-final service winners and aces Well, we're 
find out just how good a condition Jennifer Capriotti is in. She is having to work incredibly hard. In fact, you seldom see her request a towel in the middle of a game, which I thought she just did by wiping her face. She's going to plow on. Fifth deuce. Live coverage of the second semifinal of the day here at the Home Depot Championships presented by Porsche. Kim Kleister's taken out Venus Williams earlier. This is match number two. It's Jennifer Capriati and Serena Williams, world's number one and three Grand Slam title holder. Add for Williams here in the third set, even one game apiece, one set all. Footfall. That's the first one that's really hurt. Most of the foot fault, she's been out of sync, and she's actually missed the serve anyway, but that really stings on a, such a long game. Game point, looks like a service winner. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Clock thickens on the foot fault calls. So think about it a little bit, and it throws you off so easy to correct. You just stand a little further back. I think when you're trying to go for a little extra on that last football, she was going to serve and volley. Just get out of the way. Don't be calling any more football, she's telling her. <laughs> just doing my job. Good point. Capriotti on the deuce side, making contact. 16th break point chance. She's converted four of them. Not enough. <laughs> of Jennifer Capriotti. Draws first blood in the third set. At stake, a place in the championship match. I don't oh, Barry sucks. Bonds will go down in history as the best baseball player Women have ever. better golf. Golf is not a sport. Yeah. America yeah. finally accepts soccer. Hockey in June. No, right now, not much. Does anyone else find out? You know what's sad? The Eagles will win this year's when Super Bowl. You start to care more about the game than the athletes. Of this quarter of a billion dollar salary. The line between college and professional sports is becoming dangerously blurred. Just because you were once an all-star doesn't mean you're qualified to run for office. night of family fun is wrapped up inside the best basic segment of the San Diego Sockers, starting with free parking at the San Diego Sports Arena. And once you step inside, whoa, Nelly, the championship action is nonstop. Find out how much fun is waiting for you at the next San Diego Sockers home game. Tonight, your San Diego Sockers take on the Dallas Sidekicks at the Sports Arena. It's Aztec Appliance Cheer Sticks Night. Tickets to Ticketmaster or the Arena Box Office. Sockers tonight. K5, your source for quality boarding equipment. Two locations, Carmel Mountain Ranch and our new Insane Superstore in Encinitas. 
Gabrielli's got the break in the third set, leading two games to one high above. The Goodyear Blimp Spirit of America has been providing these aerial pictures. 2002 marks the 104th anniversary of Goodyear, 77th of the Blimp Fleet. That's a look towards Malibu, and actually, if you can look in there, you can see I didn't make my bed right about there in Pacific <laughs> Palisades. That's mid Wilshire, maybe Century City area, pulling back from downtown Los Angeles. Interesting start of the game. Serena not ready. Mm. Evidently, Capriati suffering from a little bit of an upset stomach. No wonder. Nerves in this match. surprise yourself on that volley. We've seen almost every shot possible in this match. Oh. Serena said it the best rivalry in women's tennis. They bring out the best in each other. They always go the distance. It's exciting stuff. We look at the variety of the winners of the Serena Williams racket, that last volley getting number five. That was truly spectacular. A great point opportunity for Serena to get it right back. Serena thinks she's falling off that return. She's backing up. Good depth by Capriotti stepping into that backhand. He's been chasing so many balls down and also just hit the ball early, penetrating the court. do something she hasn't done in almost a year and a half, defeat Serena Williams. It's pretty amazing with all their close matches that they all this year went towards Serena. 2001, it was Capriotti winning all the big points. isn't just about this particular match. I think it really changes the complexion of women's tennis going into 2003. If at the year-end championships, you do not have an all Williams or even one Williams in a final. Everybody had begun to talk about the fact that it was a foregone conclusion. And I do think that those players we mentioned at the very top of the show, the Celis, Davenport, Kleisters, and Capriati have taken the challenge particularly to heart. Hitting that swinging volley winner. Never really seen her this down. Yeah, more shakes negatively of the head than what we've seen throughout this year. there. It's a 
good look. <laughs> This is a huge second serve. There is a focus about Capriati now. And it speaks to Serena Williams. Great point. And that determination in the Capriati eyes today. You know, her conversion of break chances has been very poor. Yeah, Capriati, particularly in that second set, has struggled, even in this set. One of three, a little better. Five of 17 for the match. Deuce. And Serena's only three of 10. And you know, many times when you see a classic match is when you've had all those service games that are just do sad, do sad, and the server finds a way to dig themselves out of trouble. And that's all we have brewing here. to serve for the rest of the day. to Serena, who now has a break point. match summary there's so little between both these players you expect to see a lot of unforced errors but look 35 winners for Serena only 10 for Capriati of course we know Serena so quick chases them down and a lot of break up point opportunities for both players Serena converting three and Capriati five times of serve on the Capriati delivery. That's off of the big one. Yeah. Little break for Capriati. That was going to be a clean ace. So much better to that deuce side. Really mixing it up well. She served a few aces out wide, a couple up the tee. That was her 13th ace of the match. Each game is 
so interesting because neither player is sure to win a serve. We've showed you how many breakpoint chances they've both had. Every game's up for grabs. It certainly makes for more exciting games. first game. This crowd's been treated to some good matches this week, particularly two starring Monica Sellis. But this is a different level. Adriani wins the Australian for the first time, her first slam. It was last year. Then she wins the French Championships. Then she repeats this year. Serena Williams wins all three after the Australian this year. Of Serena Williams at 15:30 on the Capriati serve. She just served a double fault. That free point would be a welcome relief for Capriati. No. Capriati is trying to end the 17-match win streak of Serena Williams. Capriati looked a half a step slow getting to the ball. She's made some amazing gets. Brings up a great point. That was a big second serve, wasn't it? 92, almost on the line. Serena still, she fell back a little bit, which is something she motioned about a few games ago. A little tentative. Deuce at 3-4, third set. Get a little tentative. The footwork starts to go a little bit. into the winds and she has on the second serve but Williams wins the points deuce. One of the subplots of this week have been the yes. amount of times the Williams sisters balls have gone over the net in crucial moments. Monica Sellis was a victim the other night against Venus and Serena's had her share as well. The net court's very loose this week. Yep. Monica Salas was saying yesterday, of course they're going to go over when you play against them. They hit the ball so hard. Another big second serve from Capriati into the body 
You turn wide, game point Capriati. Sellis has not missed a point of this match. the net cord should be a little tighter because I, I think there are too many of them that are going over. The U.S. Open, you hit the net cord and it's strung very tight there. Real difference. Of course, this has a temporary net post, so you cannot string it as tautly. It's hard enough playing against just Serena. I don't need to play against the net and Serena. What do, oh, get off that one. <laughs> oh, what a match. Game point. Denise Capriotti is anything but relaxed. Oh. The one did not go around. Capriotti again. Then point. Another one of these marathon dramatic games. 50 unforced errors, but still such high quality. Jennifer Capriotti. The last time anybody got this deep in a match against Serena Williams was in Los Angeles. Shanna Rubin quarterfinals. They both can play tennis. And we'll have a second <laughs> Williams Capriati match later. So important for both players. Capriati will be under pressure on her serve if she doesn't break here at 4-5. Almost every single game in this set has been critical. It's been so long, so many deuces. where serving first in a set is vital. If you can get it to four all and hold, so much more pressure on the second one serving. First serve. This 
stage. That Capriati lost the second set. She'll serve it for five when we come back live. This holiday at your young is Tim Tristers. This is Capriati and Williams. NHRA World Finals coming up next on ESPN2. Capriati to serve. Four, five, third set. that both the net and Serena cooperated on that first point. Serena. two points away from a win. Rob Valley would have done it. But it was short and we've got a match point. Sometimes you get treated to a match that is about as good as it can be. You cannot have a year-end championship without having a classic match. In this event, we almost had a couple, certainly the sellers, but you need to have a semifinal or a final be this dramatic for it to get to that level. And it always lives up to its expectations when Serena faces Jennifer Capriotti. And again, it was the mental edge, I think, of having played so well throughout the whole year and having those wins against Capriotti that did it for Serena Williams today. Our coverage of the Home Depot Championships presented by Porsche concludes tomorrow on ESPN, live at 9. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time at 6.30 out west. It'll be the season-ending championship final. Kim Kleisters taking on Serena Williams. Blip provided by Goodyear's for Terra Tire. This has been a presentation.